Welcome back. You're watching headlines now. In a shocking incident today, a third year student from Jharkhand, studying at the MGR deemed university, was in Chennai, was allegedly murdered by the students of Satyabhama deemed university on the ECR. The deceased has been identified as a son of a railway sub inspector in Ranchi. His body has been moved to the Roy Peta Government Hospital for post mortem. The reason behind the murder is alarming. Normally three deemed university, SRM deemed university, MGR deemed university and the university which is right behind me, Satyabama deemed university, show more interest in offering seats to North Indian students. The reason, they get more money. There are around 10,000 North Indian students studying in these three deemed universities as per the police records. It is usual that senior North Indian students act as brokers in helping the students to gain admission in deemed university and thereby receive commission. In most of the time, the commission amount is rupees 50,000 per seat. Now, the dispute between students in such a trade has resulted in a bloody murder. The victim was chased along the OMR and was murdered. The deadlock between the workers and managements of the Naval Lignite Corporation was expected to reach a conclusion today. But the fifth round of talks which started today also did not arrive at a compromise. It's been six days since the NLC workers went on strike has now reportedly led to a dip in power generation in one of the three thermal power stations in Naveli. Meanwhile, political leaders including Colonel Congress MP K S Argiri intervened in the issue to put an end to it. The Labour Commission officials and the trade union leaders expressed hope the issue over wage revision of NLC workers would be sorted out. Well, we are now joined by our uh, reporter Peer Mohabad, who has been tracking this story very closely over the past one week or so. Peer, uh, it was expected uh, that the strike would end today. Why is it that it, the strike is still not en uh, ended even now? Uh, yes, Ram, it's a long pending uh, wage issue uh, between the management and the workers. Uh, they, uh, because uh, both the DMK union and the PMK union came together, joined hands and uh, you know, uh, went on strike, you know, it was expected that you know, there will be a solution. Uh, very uh, 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 particularly DMK trade union leader Kupu Swami and uh, PMK trade union leader Jana Seren expressed hope that uh, you know, this would be sorted out on Monday. But today they started talking uh, uh, in the morning at about 10 o'clock at uh, Navelli House in the city. But uh, the, they could not arrive at a solution and the issue dragged on. You know, till now they are st uh, uh, talking and uh, no solution is arrived at. But when we contacted both the uh, regional labor commissioner and the trade unions and the uh, NLC management, they expressed hope uh, that you know, they would try, try to sort it out even if it is very late in the night today. Uh, but uh, uh, sometimes, you know, it would drag on to tomorrow uh, because the wage revision, the issue is that they, the unions want the wage revisions from the year 2007 and the management says they can give it from a later period because uh, it, it is uh, an issue involving over 16,000 workers, permanent workers of the company, so it would be a huge amount. That is the hitch. Right, Peter. Yeah, yes, uh, Ram. Uh, Right, Peter, um, if, if, you know, it's very clear that the power, power production is also coming down now. Any possibility of uh, the power cuts uh, due to the continued protest uh, in uh, Chennai? Uh, yes, Ram, to if they are not able to arrive at a solution tomorrow, that is the seventh day of the strike, definitely there would be a problem uh, because already in the first thermal power station of NLC, uh, uh, you know, there is a dip in production. Uh, in the 600 megawatt capacity uh, production facility, uh, the, yesterday it was only 280 megawatt produced according to sources at NLC. So there would be definitely a, a problem uh, for Chennai and other parts of the state if it is not ending tomorrow. Right, we thanks a lot for those updates. Let's hope that at least tomorrow the union and the management uh, reach a middle ground and the strike ends. Moving on, relocating is a huge task and the first people to do uh, we turn to is the companies that specialize in moving goods. But there are times when these companies don't deliver the quality of service they promise. Bertilla delves into what you as a consumer could and should do if you find your valuables broken and the service unsatisfactory. Shifting your home to a new city or town, well, we all know that's not easy. 
and that's when we depend on companies who specialize in this service. But when the damage is caused to the goods, isn't it the company's responsibility which collects a service charge? They should take the responsibility in while transmitting the goods and they should have a something like a legal contract signed. But definitely they, they should also take the responsibility and uh, the owner should see to that that something is signed and legally prepared. It's a full responsibility that they should deliver it in as it were delivered. So just throwing it out and putting the TV under the um, and the lorry and then putting over the other heavy articles over the over it and it actually it will get when they are loading it they should be cautiously load it tv should be kept it somewhere else and the pillow should be kept it they should take care of it it is the full responsibility of the transporter that they should deliver it in good condition a recent judgment passed in the court says that the service provider should take full responsibility for the loss or damage of goods and also compensate for the losses but the service providers usually get away with a non-liability clause. The consumer firm has made an order that the packers and movers cannot fix their liability as a minimum amount or they cannot restrain the jurisdiction to entertain a complaint because possibly the packers and movers they will be having their office at Bombay or Delhi so that which may not be needed that the complaint has to be filed before before the Bombay or Delhi consumer forums. It can be filed wherever the complainant books their articles or wherever they receive their articles. In the event of loss or damage to goods and if filing a complaint becomes necessary, it is mandatory for a customer to have a receipt that lists the goods that are being transported. In Chennai, Bertila, NDTV Hindu. Well, time to take a short break. But on the other side, the king of play has not conquered the cross-court stool. We take a look at Nadal's exciting match on the other side.